we've, I've come from companies where we looked at a tool like RFPIL and we're thinking, well, that will never work. But what we didn't consider is that you can take those processes and one, you can do them in one place. And two, you can automate the workflow process. So the more people you have involved in a project, the more a tool like RFPIO I think makes sense, including for government bids. Like if you have a graphic artist that's going to be generating your graphics for your section as opposed to the writer that's going to be developing the content, then it makes sense for the writer to be able to work through a section, submit their work as done, and then notify the graphic artist, okay, it's all, you know, this, this Q&A pair is all yours using comments or using Slack or email notifications. So much of that is kind of done, is, no, it's definitely done manually where you, know, you have to, you know, there's a whole uh, set of uh, stakeholder expectations you're supposed to meet in, in the company process to make sure that a bid doesn't get thrown out for non-compliance by a government entity. I always wanted to do it and I finally got into a company where I got to apply RFPIO to business to government bids. And I think it has actually made compliance so much easier and faster and the quicker you get to compliance, the more you can work on compelling this.